Hey sourcers and recruiters out there, Tony Steeman here, research consultant with the Novo Group, and I'm back with another sourcing tips video. This week I'm really excited to tackle the topic of RSS feeds and how to use them from a sourcing and research perspective to make sure you stay up to date with the latest techniques out there for sourcing and research within your organization. So let's go ahead and dive in and talk about what RSS feeds are. So first of all, RSS feeds are simply defined as a rich site summary. And you might be asking yourself, what the heck is a rich site summary? Well, basically it's a summary of website data sent to an RSS tool of choice. And what that means is it basically takes any new post that you select from a, a particular website, puts it into an RSS format so you can aggregate that post into a tool of your choice. So if you are wanting to stay up to date with maybe the latest recruiting post from ere.net, you can simply add their RSS feed information to your RSS tool of choice and you'll get every new update from ere.net without ever going to the actual website. So it really enables users to stay updated on website content without having to visit the site. So as you can imagine, if you can organize this data well, it will really help you stay up to date with a bunch of different sites using one tool and that's the beauty of RSS feeds. So how do we keep RSS feeds organized because as you can imagine if you're adding your favorite sites feeds to one tool it could probably be a mess. Well browsers have different plugins there's tons of different plugins for mobile device and desktop app applications and things like that. Uh, this presenter personally myself obviously uh, prefers the tool Feed Demon, and it is a desktop application that you can download free of charge it's one of the most widely used um, resources for RSS feeds, uh, but whatever tool you do choose, um, I'm sure it will benefit you from an RSS standpoint. But we're going to talk a little bit about Feed Demon today and how to use that to stay up to date on sourcing and research information. So just a little bit more about Feed Demon. Um, it is a free RSS desktop application, as I mentioned before. A couple of the features that I like is it allows for organizations with organization with tags, and that's something I use in Evernote and some other tools as well. But if you're unfamiliar with tags, basically you can just simply tag information to keep it organized for future use. So for example, if I um, like a post from ERE's, uh, ERE.net's um, sourcing feed, and I like particular articles for future use of techniques I want to try, I could tag them ERE sourcing updates. And I can tag everyone that I like like that, and so every time I want to search for those articles, I simply search my tags ERE sourcing updates, and I'll find all those articles that I tagged. So it'll, it has some cool organization features and also includes folders. It allows you to add and search for new feeds inside the tool, or you can add external feeds, and then you can also search for podcasts, so just kind of a side benefit if you do like podcast. Um, and then the web address is uh, feeddemon.com, and I'm going to take you there in just a moment. So what is the use for sourcing and research? Well, as you can imagine with RSS feeds, you could add company information or competitor information to stay up to date that way. Um, and I encourage you to explore that after this video and go out and do those things. I found them to be very beneficial. But as we know with sourcing and research, technology is always changing, right? It's always changing within sourcing and research. So how do you keep up with the latest articles? There's tons of industry leading blogs and professional sites and services out there and they all post pretty good content when it comes to sourcing and research. And so I have found RSS feeds as a way to add all of those sites to one quick list within Feed Demon, and then every day I can come in and have a news feed and I can see some great articles and really learn some new sourcing and research tips, which in turn allows me to practice new things, always be learning, and stay on top of the industry. So let's go ahead and take a live example look at what it takes to set up Feed Demon and how you can get some of these great sites into your Feed Demon feed in order to stay up to date with sourcing and research. Here we go. Okay, so here we are on the web and we are at our URL, feeddemon.com, and it's just a pretty basic website. It talks about some of the features here and I do encourage you to read through them. It really has some amazing features. And so all you wanna simply do is go over here and click the download button and it will simply download a file, an, an executable file to your desktop. Once you run that file, you'll just simply follow the instructions to install Feed Demon, and I do recommend using the express install option instead of the custom one and it will install it to your hard drive and then you can go ahead and open it up. Now before I go any further, I do want to give a quick shout out to the website sourcecon.qa. 
I've been looking for a way to organize my RSS feeds for a long time and SourceCon QA is created by the wonderful people who hold the SourceCon conference every year. Uh, my friend Jeremy over there does a great job of uh, keeping this site up and going and, and it's a place that you can go online to post questions about sourcing and some uh, and research and then actually have some of the leading people in the industry um, respond to that. And I want to give a shout out to uh, the person ranked number one here, Dean DaCosta. He had actually responded with a list of some fantastic sites for RSS feeds and what he kind of uses. He also recommended Feed Demon to me and um, really it was just a, a matter of me taking all the sites and creating them inside of my RSS feed within Feed Demon and then I was able to go ahead and export them into a file that I'm going to share with you. But it's literally the top sourcing and research sites to uh, gather information from and directly from one of the best sourcers in the country. So thanks again, Dean, for giving me permission to use that information in this video. And I do recommend connecting with Dean online. He's very helpful with uh, sourcing and research information. Now, going back to Feed Demon, once we've downloaded and, and installed it, I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And you'll see up here a subscriptions uh, folder, and it's organized simply just like Windows. There's different folders you can create. I have created one because I only use it really for sourcing expertise. When I open this up, you'll see this is the list of all the sites that Dean recommended and I, that I was able to type in and use. And uh, they've all been cleaned up, they're all active, and it really is just a subscription feed over here that shows you all of this great information. And you can just simply click on an article and uh, read this article within the browser. Obviously click on more and it will uh, either take you out to the website or open it within the browser. This one opened right within the browser. So you can do all of your reading and everything right inside of Feed Demon. And I really recommend it for staying up to date with all the latest sourcing, research, and recruiting information out there. Now, how can I make it easy on you to get this list into your version of Feed Demon? Well, what I've done is I've went up here and I've exported um, my feed list. And I've named the file um, simply research rssfeeds.ompl. You can click a link in the description below and download that file. Once you download that OMPL file, you're simply going to open your feed daemon, hit import feeds right here, select import an OMPL file. You'll simply research or search for where you saved it onto your desktop and then hit next. And mine's popping up as already having them imported, but that will simply import this entire list over here uh, directly from Dean and myself into your feed daemon RSS feeds and you'll be able to start researching and uh, staying up to date on the latest in sourcing and research tips. Now I also want to recommend is as you learn of more sites go ahead and add them to this. If you're a recruiter out there you can separate these out between sourcing and recruiting. You can also add company competitor list, podcasts and all sorts of things into feed daemon. But this uh, tutorial video should help you get a good start on how to use RSS feeds for sourcing and research information. My email address is in the description below. If you do have any questions, uh, once again, Tony Steeman here with the Novo Group and a sourcing, uh, giving you sourcing tips uh, on a weekly basis. I do wanna encourage you to like, favorite, and subscribe to this video. Make sure you share it on your networks and then also follow the Novo Group by clicking on the links in the description below to stay up to date with all the great information across our social networks. This has been Tony. I hope you have a wonderful day. Signing off.